Uh, congratulations, Brian. Has uh, I know you said you needed six months and you wanted to get some more games under your belt, but have you given yourself any chance to sort of bask in this? It's more, it, it, it's slowly coming to the surface. I mean, look, we got to prep and make sure we're ready for Dallas because league points are critical now. That was the message in the, you know, film this morning. But, you know, yeah, it's starting to sink in. I mean, it took me a little while. Uh, but yesterday with all the press, the good press, um, you know, Steph, you know, getting a lot of accolades. I love that storyline. Um, that's out there on a national level. Uh, just, I'm just proud of those guys to get the recognition they deserve in Steph's case. Thank, thank you to all of the people that, you know, did take a look at Albert's con contributions to the game. Okay, that was massive for me. And, you know, the story of Raul with the kids was great. It's just, again, testament to the culture that we have here. So, yeah, it's starting to sink in a little bit. It was, it was, it was a great night for all of us, all of us Sounder fans and Sounder employees and, you know, people that work around the, the group. It's it, it was really good. What's most important to kind of get done in, in a training like this after a moment like that? Uh, get and them back trip. up, get them back up, focused on what's the next task at hand. And also just the physical prep. So the starters from Wednesday just had a regen. They came out a little bit, but they're finishing their training in the tent. And, you know, just working a little bit on the small details with the guys that are going to start. You guys, uh, is there a, uh, have, did you have to calculate? I mean, it is, you guys are at the bottom of the MLS table as far as I read that in the paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so is there, have you, is, is there a point where you're calculating what you need to do to at least make the playoffs? No. Or where, where no, does that kind of stand? How many games have we played? Seven. There's still a long way to go. Don't count us out. Don't count us out. Who had their eye on Dallas uh, while you guys were kind of prepping for that? Was it, you know, as far as uh, the turnaround? So I know you were really focused on, on the, the finals. Well, coaches so. don't get a break. We were focused on Dallas, yes. Already last week, Jorge, all the guys, the assistants, we've, we've already got game plan. Everything's in place. Can you give us any updates on the we, – we heard last night that, that Joe Paolo has a torn yeah. ACL. What else can you say about uh, Nuhu's injury and, I guess, Nuhu's and fine. JP? <clears throat> Nuhu's fine. He, he, dead legs are funny, you know. It's not, it's not a serious injury. It's just a debilita debilitating injury for a – certain amount of time. But he's totally fine. I expect him to play in Dallas. And JP is... JP is just, you know, they're talking about, you know, the swelling has to go down and surgery dates and, you know, uh, all of that kind of stuff. So In the short term, uh, is it... What, what's the plan to, to fill that spot? What, how does it change Albert's role? I don't know if it does. I mean, Albert, you know, depending on the game and depending on the run of games and all that, Albert's probably going to stay where he's going to stay. Now, does he provide leadership and experience? Yes. Uh, but whoever we stick next to him, Josh, Obed, Danny, Christian, we bring Chu on more attacking-minded way. I mean, we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Do you feel pretty good about your depth in that position? Yeah, for sure. We've got too much on those. You've got three young kids that are super talented. You know, Danny started us off, and then Josh kind of took over and now open. I mean, it doesn't mean we're going to forget about Josh and Danny. You have uh, good depth, but do you feel that you need the roster spot to go to Well, you guys can ask our though. I mean, ask Garth and Craig. I mean, I'm sure there'll be something done in the summer, but we'll we'll see. Let let let's just let this percolate a little bit. Let's just kind of you know see how it goes. We've got faith in the young kids. They'll be fine. Do you uh, 
um, get a cut of the prize money for finals? Coaches don't get a cut of the prize money. It's all for the players. <laughs> You know, the coaches have been looking at Dallas, but how hard is it for the players to come off that Wednesday high to go to Frisco and, and play that was why it was a very firm message this morning that it's congratulations, you guys were great. Now we're going to start focusing on this game, Saturday, because of the league points. And then this club, again, We'll focus on Wednesday because that's a big deal. That's going to be a great atmosphere at Starfire. But before we talk about that Open Cup game, it's Dallas. And those are the steps that we take. Yes, human nature is involved. But you beat it into them as much as you can. And we go from there. It, it might be heavy rotation for, for Dallas. And the there will be rotation in Dallas, there'll be rotation for the Open Cup game, there'll be rotation for Minnesota, Houston, Colorado, Charlotte. I mean, we've got we've got a heavy schedule. Then we get that little break. And then you look at our schedule after that and we're going to need to rotate. It's it's inevitable. Well, I love it. I, but with that um and the travel that you guys have gone under um, is is that type of the the type of rotation where you would have players stay back here just to kind of you know get them rest. If the situation calls for it, we will hold guys back or we'll bring them on the road and use them as subs. That's on a game by game basis. 